you may be paying for cell phone service you've never used. A new investigation is focusing on T-Mobile and millions of customers. KMBC 9's Keisha Henry is live with concerns about what's called cramming. Keisha? Millions of dollars made by charging unsuspecting customers for services on here that they say they never used. That's what T-Mobile is being accused of, but they say it's not their fault. It's not fair. It's not fair to somebody who works so hard to provide for their kids and then they get nickel and dimes. Sadie Beth Peterson says she and her family have been crammed with extra charges for text trivia and ringtone services they never used. I still have $100 to $150 worth of charges that I ended up paying because I need a phone service. She's just one of many customers T-Mobile is accused of scamming millions of dollars from by using third-party charges. Tara Shaw, another one of those customers, says she paid an extra $10 to $20 a month for a year and a half for a hot spot and a tablet that she says yeah, she never just used. Paying, I was just paying with my mobile app on T-Mobile, so that's why I think I never realized it. T-Mobile has all these advertisements out here, and they're taking customers from other carriers and paying off their termination fees. But in my head, I'm thinking, oh, so that's how they can afford to be able to pay off all these termination fees because they have all these bogus charges. In a statement, T-Mobile said the complaints filed by the FTC are unfounded and without merit. They blame the third parties for the charges. They didn't really have a true answer for me. Uh, they just had no idea how this extra number or charge from this hotspot or tablet that never existed got on my bill. These customers say they just want their money back. They're taking away our hard earned money. So what exactly can you do to protect yourself? Well, you can start by checking every single item on your bill each month. Also, ask your service provider about possibly blocking all third-party charges. And last but certainly not least, do not give out your cell phone number without reading the fine print. Reporting live in KC Mo, Keisha Henry, KMBC 9 News.